dog, oh dog. Oh dog, oh dog. Oh dog, oh dog. Oh dog, oh dog. Get up that hill. Get up that hill. In the morning light. Get up that hill. Oh dog, oh dog. Go oh, dog, go oh, dog. That's just a little bit of the song, Old Dog, Old Dog. It's probably my most, it's actually my second most uploaded song, the first most uploaded song of all my songs is Toyota Land Cruiser. Anyway, uh, someone asked me if I could run through how to play it, and really, it's first of all a matter of knowing how to play this thing. And the reason I'm doing this video today is for all you people that are stuck at home and you thought you want to play guitar or you want to play harmonica. And what I'll say to you is this, is just go online and look at YouTube tutorials. There are bloody thousands of them, and most of them are better teachers than I am. They are people that uh, specialise in teaching. I don't. Well, I used to. I used to be a teacher around all the schools around here. Uh, but all that stuff was very basic stuff for children. So what I will tell you about the harmonica is it's a fantastic instrument to take away in the bush if you're a hunter. Not that you'll probably be doing much of that right now. But you can take this thing away in your pocket and wherever you go, you've got a song with you. And you can create a song. This is an A harmonica. The song Old Dog, Old Dog is actually played in a G if you do want to learn that song. And it's uh, normally a little bit slower maybe than I've done there. Every time I play a song, it's different. I just kicked into a song on the guitar and it sounded really cool. And then you can hear that airplane flying right over. I'm on the flight path of so many aircraft here. And it's the one thing about this place that everything else is perfect. But the one thing is that every time I try to record a song, constantly aircraft going over. And sometimes, you know, when you record a song, sometimes it's like really bloody good and you go, oh man, I've nailed it, that sounds wicked. Well, that was one of those songs. And then that came over and it was like, nah, and the key of the guitar was like there. Nah, and just like, fuck, the whole thing just got fucked up. And now I've lost my buzz. So what do you do when that happens? And here's the thing. Here's, one, here's a trick. Every time I get really pissed off about something or something does that to me, what I do as I tap into that shitty, horrible feeling, and then I make it into something, and that gets it out of me. That's that's my technique. When I was younger, I used to like sort of get angry, and I'd be quite aggressive with it. But these days, I go, where can I channel that? So I've still got that feeling of that frustration of that airplane flying over and destroying my song. So I was playing a happy reggae song, but now I'm going to play a blues and put it into that, and that way it lets it out. Good dog. Who's your good dog, eh? You good boy? It's old Bigsy coming up to say good day. Okay, mate, I'm going to play a song, so don't ruin this one. Okay, well, here we go. This is uh, in the key of E. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Gonna shoot you right down. Knock you half of your feet. Take you home with me. Put you in my house. I have my eyes on you. Like the way you walk, like the way you talk, when you're talking to me, oh, that baby talk, honey, I like it like that, hey, I got my eyes on you, boom, 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 gonna shoot you right down. Knock you off your feet I'll take you home with me I'll put you in my house, sweet girl I have my eyes on you mm I have my eyes on you Boom, 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 boom 
gonna shoot you right down I'll knock you off your feet Take you home with me I'll put you in my house, sweet girl I have my eyes on you And now, I feel good again. It's all gone out, see? Anyway, while you're stuck in lockdown, whatever it is you're doing, however you're handling it, if you ever thought about playing an instrument, now's a bloody good time, because just like anything, it just takes a lot of time. You don't have to be naturally fantastic at it, but if you put the time in, you'll get back out what you put in. It's like with anything. You want to be a good chef? Watch lots of cooking shows and practice heaps. You want to be a good painter or an artist? Just spend ages on the canvas learning from other people. Uh, but you've got to really love what you're doing. If you're frustrated and you're doing a little time and you, and you do get frustrated with music, put it down and then pick it up when you're least frustrated and, and tear back into it. Oh, well, there's two. Another one behind him. Not a big one, but it is the first yellow eyed mullet. It's just a question, does it come up to the boat or not? He's only a small one compared to what you normally get. Almost too small to catch with a bow. Here he goes there in the shallows. Yesterday there was one that was like four or five times as big as that. It was like a blue cod. It was massive. Uh, this is only a small one. I don't even know I'm going to even waste a shot. Nah, it's tiny. Not what I was after. There's another big one out over there, but it's not coming in. You can see it moving around. This is the time they come up. And they start like fishing in this area for stuff off the bottom. And the bait catcher has failed. There's uh, nothing in it. They're only small fish. Every day is different when you're fishing. And we've got one small one on the rod. Nothing big's taken that either. It's probably enough for about, I don't know, three meals for us there. Keep them fresh. And uh, take them home and because I've got no ice so I'm keeping them alive, keep them fresh, otherwise they'll just be not fresh when I finally get ready for processing them. They're not all alive but this water is reasonably cool. That's about the biggest one there. If they're all that size I'll be happy but hey, we can cook these, that's not a bad one there. That would be just about a meal for me with some salad. And two of these to make a meal. It's a good, good fat yellow eyed mullet. And we'll sashimi this guy up and use the rest of them. So good, good going for day's work. Living half my time on the houseboat, I've learned a lot about the nature around me here. I've learned that the kingfisher is called the kingfisher for a very good reason. Those little birds, man, they can catch fish. They swoop down on the water, pick one off, and back up. And they take crabs too. They have no problem sustaining themselves. I've also learnt that the small fish, the tiniest fish, have an intelligence. If you catch a bigger one amongst them, or if you release them from the net, they won't come back. They know it's a dangerous place. I've really uh, enjoyed this time and it doesn't matter for how long it goes on for me. I realised also that I've actually spent most of my life in isolation more than I thought so because not much has changed other than being able to give my girlfriend a hug or my children a hug. I'd be very comfortable to stay here for the rest of my days. I still have to learn how to fish this area taking flounder. Spear is the only way I've done it but the net is the way that you catch the most. With the stingray in the bay right now I don't want to risk destroying the net with another big stingray like the last one destroyed it. Solar panels on the houseboat, they're keeping the lighting going. I've still got about 80 litres of water in the tanks below and I'm starting now to gather water off this rear canopy for feeding the plants. 
this time that we've all got here while we're isolated wherever you are however small or big your bubble is and how many people are in it one thing i'm sure as hell not going to do is waste this time every time in our life is an important time and we've only got so much time and it's the most valuable thing we've got and i reckon there's a lot to be gained by this time as well for all of us maybe it's a time to to learn something new or time to reflect and change the direction of your life for the better or time to enjoy what's around you and actually stop for a while because we've always got our heads down our bums up so don't waste this time this is a important time it's actually a special time rather than make it a stressy time and see it as a negative thing treat it as a unique time in your life you see us baby boomers like my age and i'm the very end of the baby boomers we've had it pretty bloody lucky we've gone the last 50 years or so plus without any wars any major plagues this is the first plague in my lifetime and we've had it pretty good we've been on the pig's back compared to a lot of our ancestors before us that were killed with plagues and wars and all sorts of horrible shit. The worst thing that's happened here in New Zealand in my lifetime is the Christchurch earthquakes that I can think of. And uh, we've had a few viruses come through, nothing like this. But overall, we've had a pretty good bloody run. So uh, she's not all bad. Well, I'm going to go back inside now and uh, take my fish home and feed my nephew because he eats like a bloody horse. Today he's had, uh, all, I gave him all of my duck sausages. He's eaten all of my salami, and I'm taking him fresh fish to uh, cook now, so uh, that'll be his tucker. Hope you enjoyed the clip. Be good. Can't be good. Be careful. See you later. Boom, 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 boom. Gonna shoot you right down. Knock you off your feet. I'll take you home with me. I'll put you in my house, sweet girl, I have my eyes on you.